Greg Nibbler with Digital Trends here at CES 2018 up in the North Hall where we have stopped by the Arctic 3D booth. 3D scanning that is absolutely amazing. And I'm here with Andre right now. So Andre, uh, can you tell us about what we're looking at right here? Yes, that's an absolutely new generation of the 3D scanners. So that's because this first, uh, first uh, time we can combine uh, all elements of 3D scanning in one, uh, uh, in one scanner without computer. So that's artificial intelligence ready, NVIDIA Jetson Tegra uh, inside. And I was seeing this here, so it's all self-contained. Like you said, this is one unit that you can pick up. Do you care if I pick it up? Just to kind of showcase, it's not very heavy. You can actually scan real time, so I could technically scan you right now if I wanted to. And it's almost instantaneous that uh, it pops up on there. So you've got this device, you've got ones that scan smaller objects. This is really incredible. So uh, is, what's your what's your secret here? How are you able to get this all into this small unit? That's, oh, that's, that's, <laughs> that's just... That's, that's the ten, secret you're not gonna tell us? No, that's no secret. Just uh, 10 years of uh, hard working. So that's uh, in here. So that's we uh, uh, have the uh, unique optics which we design ourselves uh, so we create our own camera uh, to capture the information so that's and create our own electronics to process a huge a huge amount of data which you receive during the scanning so what's the target market for this who are these marketed towards uh, so the biggest market is industrial industrial engineers and mechanical engineers they use it for design for quality assurance uh, for communication between different departments. Also, the huge market is the medical market because new orthopedic specialists, they don't want to use with the plaster. They use 3D scanner and then create uh, the orthesis and prosthesis in CAD, in computer. So that's another big. All archaeology typically use our tech scanner, paleontology, uh, heritage preservation, a lot of universities, so that's very, very wide, uh, very wide market for for this type of scanners. So behind us over here, and this is what uh, another thing we're stopping by for. You've got this giant machine that looks like it's doing a complete scan of a person, yes. to where, uh, from what I understand, you can scan a person and instantly put them into a program or 3D print a version of them. Yes. So that's that's the scanner, especially for the scan the whole uh, the whole body. Uh, for the uh, situation when you need to do this very quickly, that's we we need about uh, 12 seconds to scan each people. Then we upload data to the cloud. In in the cloud, the magic algorithms stitch all uh, part of the figurine, create the 3D model, send to people, and also make the 3D me measurement. All right, I don't know what just happened there, but we're about to find out again live here at CES 2018 with Digital Trends nonstop coverage, digitaltrends.com slash CES. Thanks a lot. Let's see what happened.